Following suit from last year's entry, NBA 2K17 once again lets you create and design your own team to inject into a regular NBA season. This is great for me because I love to play as my favourite team, the Perth Wildcats. This is good news for you too because I went ahead and uploaded my roster and team design for you to enjoy. Here's a step by step of what you need to do to play as the Wildcats. First up, head over to My GM, My League and start a new franchise. Choose what mode you want to play, in this case I'm playing My League. Now this is important, you need the roster, so press triangle to use a custom roster and then triangle again to search. You can search by either online ID or content name. To find my roster, search the online ID Cornspiracy, as it's spelled here, or the content name Perth Wildcats and select the one by me, Cornspiracy. Select the league expansion or custom league to use the Wildcats and start in regular season. Now you'll be prompted to add a new team. This is where you download the uniforms and the arena that I've designed. Press triangle to search and type in Perth Wildcats. It will most likely be the first option. If not, you can use R1 to scroll. Hit X and then preview download design. This can take a few minutes sometimes as it has to download all the assets. All right, we have a roster and a team design, so hit options to advance. Next, you want to set up the game options. Go through and set your season preferences. I like 30 game season, five minute quarters. Importantly, have fantasy draft set to off. Make sure league expansion is turned on. And I always set protect 13 players so you can protect everyone on your team so they don't get traded to other teams or anything like that by accident. Have the salary cap and hard cap turned off too. Same with trade deadline and trade logic, they can go off. Then go ahead and set your sliders to however you like them. Press options to advance here and then you'll need to go across to the Wildcats and make sure that you select them as a user team, otherwise you won't be playing as them. Advance a few more screens and then start the season and you can automate all tasks and um, rookies and things like that. Alright, now we need to build the team. Press circle to pull up the menu, then go to front office and then roster. As you can see, the team is just full of random players right now. What we need to do is trade the Perth players who are currently all assigned to the Philadelphia 76ers. To do this, press X on the player that you want to get rid of, choose trade with another team, press R2 a couple of times to find the 76ers, and then press X on the player you want to trade with. Now go ahead and do this with all 13 players, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, now we have our team. What we need to do next is get a bit of a coaching plan going on. So go to coaching and coach game plan. You can set the game plan for all teams or have a different game plan for each team, I just set it for all teams. Okay, importantly, we need to get the rotations right. So I usually start off just by zeroing out each player's minutes. To get accurate information and minutes played on each player, you can go to nbl.com.au forward slash stats dash central and see what their average court time is. But as of the time of making this video, I've put what they are in the description below. Okay, hit R2 to go through to your coaching plan and set it up however you want. I like to run plays as often as possible, crash the boards and use that patented Wildcats physical defense. You can also select what team playbook you want to use, but that's not really that important as you can edit whatever plays you want. Something you might want to look at and change are player stats. I suck at the game, so I have all my players as overpowered beasts. To easily do this, go to roster, hit options, then go through and change the attributes as you see fit. Oh, and during the trading process, some of the players' jerseys numbers might have been changed. So just double check them, edit them in Edit Player if you have to. Even though you downloaded the team design, feel free to go in and change any elements that you don't like. You still have that option. I like to give the jungle a bit more of a personalized touch. Now you're ready for a game. Take note if it's a home or away game so you can select the correct jersey color. Games with a red square are away and blue are home games. Use L1 and R1 on this screen to cycle between the home and away jersey. You can then change your starting lineup here or you can do that in your coaching plan so you've got it always the same. I like to have Cotton as a starter now after seeing him play and I change it up between Maddie and McKay as the center. And there you have it, that's the Perth Wildcats in NBA 2K17. NBA 2K17 was one of my favorite games of 2016 and it actually received a Goatee Award. If you're not too sure what a Goatee is, why don't you check out the 2016 Goatee Awards video and see what my favorite games of last year were. Yeah, the Perth